I think the new curriculum is an improvement in pharmacy education, frankly because the world of pharmacy is changing so fast. In order to develop a student that is truly a leader and a change agent, we must change the way that we teach to improve student learning. Hi. It's very progressive. And just the quality of professors that are here in the classroom teaching us face to face is amazing. It's going a couple steps beyond what the regular pharmacy curriculum will cover and um, sort of pushing myself to expand my horizons. The first year course that I teach is a flipped classroom. We actually get a lecture, it's a shortened lecture to watch online prior to going to class where we learn all the basics. So the first thing I'd like to, to talk about is the magic bullet theory. And then in class, the students and I engage in various types of activities related to how that information they learned in that video can be applied to patient care. Because you're not just left on your own to apply it for the first time. You get that experience before you're at your hospital rotation or your drug information rotation. You have all of that information going into that as opposed to getting there for the first time and then trying to figure it out on your own. The school is adding a research component to the PharmD curriculum. I get to actually see and observe the things that I'm learning in the classroom. I think instead of just memorizing a fact from a textbook, you have to go out and figure out how to systematically answer the questions that you've asked through research. And so I think that's something that this opportunity has been very valuable. It's like refreshing to come to this school and you're like, oh, they actually want you to do it and they set up opportunities to make it easier for you to do it. It also provides an insight into a career path that many people may not have even considered. The role of patient care in our new curriculum will begin much earlier in the student's educational process. I think one of the most surprising things I've learned is about how important it is to be genuine when we deal with our patients. I had an experience where I was helping a patient with pain management. She really felt like we weren't treating her pain effectively, but she was able to see that I was genuinely trying to help her and I was able to diffuse a lot of these angry emotions that the person had. I've had a lot of good rotations, but one of the ones that I enjoyed the most was during my inpatient cardiology rotation. We just want to make sure during that month, I was actually able to round as a student with the medical team. UNC Echelon School of Pharmacy has got to be one of the most wonderful institutions there are to practice pharmacy. Professors really care about the students, they're very knowledgeable, and they really prepare you well for when you go out there and, and start practicing pharmacy and interacting with patients and with other healthcare providers. They really prepare you with the knowledge base that you need and the experiences you need to really perform it at the highest level when you become a pharmacist. You know, I feel that the administrators here at the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy have to be commended for the way they've involved students in developing the new curriculum. From the very beginning, they've asked for input and they've offered positions for students to sit on steering committees and subcommittees to try and lay out and build the foundational philosophies. And that was a promise that was made by the dean when we were here for our first interviews when he asked us as students to hold this school and its administrators accountable to providing the very best pharmacy education in the world. And so we as students have seen that as a challenge and so I think we've been happy to step up and offer our guidance and our support in implementing the new curriculum.